In this example problem, we're going to be designing the transverse reinforcement for the following beam using practical design assumptions. So this means that we're going to have a consistent spacing of our transverse steel along the length of the beam, and also that we're going to use our ACI simplified uh, equation to find our concrete shear strength. We are given our uh, beam length and loading, uh, and we also assume that we have already uh, completed our um, flexor design, or flexural design. Uh, so we have our, our given uh, T-beam section. We can see that uh, our simply supported beam um, is resting on bearing pads. So uh, we have six inch bearing pads and we'll assume that our span length is center to center of the bearing pad. So that means that our L span is going to be uh, 24 and a half feet minus our six inches, which will be 24 feet. Uh, we can also see that um, our beam will be positive bending in this case. Uh, so our bottom steel is our tension steel. Um, so our D is from our compression face um, to the centroid of our tension steel. So our D is going to be uh, 21 and a half inches. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to determine our factored shear at the critical section. Uh, so we can first find our V max, which will be equal to the reaction of our left support uh, or, or our right support. Um, so to find our, our reaction, we'll take our eight uh, kips per foot, which is our factored um, distributed load times 24 feet, which is our span length divided by two, and we'll get our Vmax to be 96 kips. To find our critical uh, shear, we now need to go from the edge of our bearing out a distance D uh, away, so a, a distance D away from the edge of our, our bearing. Um, so we know that uh, the shear at the centroid of our bearing is equal to 96 kips. Uh, minus 8 kips per foot, which is the slope of our shear diagram, which is also equal to our distributed load, times 3 inches, which is half of our bearing, so to get us out to the edge of our bearing, and then plus our D, which is 21.5 inches. And we're going to divide this by 12 inches per foot uh, to keep our units consistent. Um, so we'll find our VU uh, at our critical section, to be equal to 79.7 uh, kips. Our next step is to calculate the uh, required shear resistance at that critical section. Uh, to, so to calculate our VN required, we're going to take our VU at our critical section, 79.7 kips divided by 0.75, uh, which is our phi factor for shear. And we'll find our VN required to be 106.2 uh, kips. So this is our uh, required um, shear strength. Uh, we'll next need to find uh, our concrete shear strength. And uh, because we're doing a practical design, uh, we're going to use the simplified um, equation for shear uh, from ACI. Uh, so we have two times the square root of 5,000 PSI, remembering that in ACI we use PSI, times our web width, which for us the um, web width is 10 inches, times our D, which is 21.5 inches. And I'm going to divide this by 1,000 pounds per kip to give us uh, our units in kips. Uh, so we'll get our VC equal to 30.4 kips. And this will be our VC that we use moving forward in this design. So we can see that our uh, VN required is greater than our VC. Um, so our VN required was 106.2 kips and our VC was equal to 30.4 kips. 
Um, so we're going to need steel to make up this difference. Uh, so what we can do now is figure out how much uh, shear strength we need from our steel. So we'll find our Vs required. And that's equal to our Vn required, which is 106.2 minus our Vc. So the shear strength that's already being provided uh, from our um, concrete, uh, which is 30.4 kips. Uh, so we know that our Vs required then is going to be equal to 75.8 kips. So in this problem, uh, we're going to assume that we're going to use uh, number four bars um, and we're going to use two legs. So uh, our AV is going to be equal to two times 0.2 square inches. So our AV is going to be equal to 0 0.4 square inches. We can use our, our AV and our VS required to find our S, or our required spacing. So our uh, required spacing is just going to be our AV 0.4 square inches times FY 60 KSI times our D 21.5 inches divided by our VS required 75.8 kips. Uh, all our units are in kips and inches, so we can find our required spacing to be 6.8 inches. So we're going to round down to the nearest inch. So we're going to use number fours at 6 inches on center throughout the uh, entire beam length. So next we need to check our ACI uh, max spacing and min steel requirements. And uh, so first our, our ACI max spacing requirement. Um, so for cases where our VS is less than or equal to 4 uh, square root F prime C times BWD, um, which will be the case in most, uh, in most instances, uh, we have our D over 2 and our 24 um, inches. Uh, so our D over 2 is going to be equal to 10.75 inches, um, which is the minimum of these two. So our S max is 10.75, uh, which is greater than our 6 inches on center. Um, so we meet our uh, ACI max spacing requirement. Uh, so then we also have our minimum steel requirement, uh, which will be the max of these two values. Um, so first, we have 50 times our BW, which is 10 inches, times our spacing, which is 6 inches, and then divided by 60,000 PSI. So remember in ACI, we use uh, PSI in, in the code expressions. Um, and we get a value of 0 0.050 square inches. Uh, so then uh, similarly, the second expression, 0.75, times uh, the square root of 5,000 PSI times BW 10 inches times 6 inches divided by 60,000 PSI uh, will give us a value of 0 0.053 square inches. Um, so we take the max of these, so we require 0.053 and we see that our 0.4 uh, square inches is greater than that. Um, so we're OK uh, with our minimum steel requirement as well. Uh, so we have our, our final design here, or our, our, our final uh, bar size, number fours. And we're spacing them at, at 6 inches on center. So finally, we need to draw our final section, um, lay out where our stirrups are actually going to be, and, and uh, check the capacity. Um, so we'll have the first bar here um, spaced at 3 inches from the edge of the support. So remember, this is uh, less than S over 2, or less than or equal to S over 2, our, our spacing. Um, so that will give us our first bar 9 inches from the end, and then 6 inches uh, for the rest of the beam. 
and we have our uh, two legs of uh, steel here. Um, so now we can find uh, the actual capacity of our section. Um, so our VC, I'm going to calculate again, but uh, we know that it'll be uh, the same as we calculated before because our section shape didn't change and our concrete uh, capacity didn't change. Um, so we have two square root uh, 5,000 times our 10 inch web. So we have a 10 inch web uh, times D, which is 21.5 inches. And again, I'm going to divide by 1,000 uh, pounds per kip uh, to give us a VC of 30.4 kips. Um, so next we can find our VS. So we have two number four bars. So two number fours is 0.4 square inches or two times 0.2 square inches times 60 KSI times our D 21.5 and then divided by our spacing which is six inches. Uh, so this will give us a VS of 86 um, point o kips. Um, so then we can add our VC and VS. So to find our VN, so 30.4 plus 86.0 will give us a VN of 116.4 uh, kips. And then VVN 0.75 is our fee, our fee factor for shear times 116.4 kips uh, will give us a value of 87.3 kips, uh, which is indeed greater than our VU at our critical section uh, equal to 79.7 kips. So uh, our fee VN is greater than VU, so we're okay here. Uh, the, other, uh, the other thing I want to note is uh, we did initially assume that our VS was less than 4 uh, square root F prime C BWD. And uh, this was when we were looking at our S max. Um, so for us, we can take 2 times our VC uh, with the simplified procedure to find uh, 4 roots. So we have 60.8 kips. And we can compare that to our VS. Um, so we'll see that our VS is actually greater than um, it's actually greater than our, our four roots. Um, so this means that our S max uh, is equal to the min of D over four and 12 inches. Uh, so for us, our, our D is 21.5. Um, so our S max is actually going to be equal to 5.4 uh, inches. Um, so we can see that in this case, our S max of 5.4 is going to control the design. Um, so we're going to actually need to use uh, number fours at 5 inches on center uh, to have a sufficient design. Um, so this is what we're going to use for our design. Uh, and, you know, since we have a closer spacing, we know that our, our VVN is still going to be okay.